Welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 1. Last time we started the second visit of Hollow Bastion, and we talked about why KH2 is perfect. If you disagree, <laughs> you can meet us at by the monkey bars. Uh, so I, I brought this up, well, I brought up, I had a point that I was kind of thinking about uh, before we recorded this. Uh, and it was talking about like Aqua kind of as a character, not as a character, but like her gameplay style. And I was going to see if you'd actually be interested in, the, like, in Square Enix doing this. So. Kind of a way for us so we can still get KH stuff, but we get more time on other KH stuff, I guess. It's kind of doing like a Mega Man approach with KH, I guess, where you have the main series, like, okay. we'll say like classic Mega Man. Or yeah. Main KH is like the Sora stuff. And then you have like an X series, which is basically the Aqua stuff. Do you think that would be a cool idea? or Because that way, if you do that, you can appeal to both sides in of the In a perfect fan base, world, get... yes, but like, that would be way too tough to like. I think like, in an in idea sense, yeah, I think that would be like, that would please both fan bases. But, um, like, for fucking, like, wrong people who like the BBS combat and the right people. <laughs> And for right people. <laughs> I feel like you could kind of get around it with like having if the, let's say they did do this for some odd reason. Uh, please hire me, Square Enix. I'd really appreciate it. But um, let's say they could make like the Aqua style a purely handheld only series. I would be fine with that. And then you have the Sora stuff that is just on console. This will not happen, but I wouldn't be against it if it did happen. I still think K H should sh should uh, soft reboot after three. I think it's going to, to be honest with you. Not not like like a God of War 4. Like, the previous games happen, but basically, like, start a brand new slate, in a way. Well, I I'm not going to spoil God of War. I know some things that happen in it. And while, for the most part, they it's a, it's a kind of a clean slate, they do bring up I know, I know it's a sequel. I know it's a straight-up sequel, yeah, I know that. But, like, you know, like, it's a new... It's basically, like... Rebranded has a reboot, oh, like a new scene. continuation. Yeah, okay. That's kind of what I'm getting at. I would be fun, like you said, if they. It's fun to bring back previous characters, but don't bring back like I don't want like Roxas no, in no, every I game. No, no, I think I think the only characters Sora, Riku, and Kairi are literally the only like original characters we should see come back. Like even like Aqua and like stuff like if she has her own side series, series sure, but like I don't want anyone else. Like, see. That's what actually you, with this like the side series, you can actually work around that like perfectly. Because if you want to get see these other characters, they can be in the Aqua stuff, but you leave the Sora, Riku, Kairi stuff for the main series. Every once in a while, if you want to bring one of them in, yeah, go ahead. But don't just because that's the thing with three, and I know this is what they're gonna do, and I'm fine with it for Cage three. But if they do it for four, I'm gonna be kind of mad. Where I feel like. They're gonna try and force all these characters into three, which it, it's fine because it. We brought this up kind of before we start recording, but it's gonna be like the Infinity War of KH. After like, let's say this Infinity War stuff, I don't want to see Roxas in every game. I don't even want to see. I mean, I like Aqua, but I don't want Aqua in every KH game. If you want to put her in four as just like a character who's there, yeah, fine. But don't bring in Vin and Terra and all of them just to have them in there. It's really annoying. KH is weird because we're, we're at a point where um, be birthed by sleep is more important to the story than 2. Yeah, like, it, totally I mean, it is. is. But birth by sleep is way more important to 3 than 2 is. What's, ca what's, car what's carrying over from, like, uh, what's carrying over from 2 to 3? Not much. Nothing, really. Just the main plot, basically, but that's it. But not even that, because they didn't, they didn't really, they, 2 was kind of like, it had like, it's beginning, middle, and end. Like, you have like, kind of like, the after credits with the letter, but that was resolved in other games. Like, a lot of things from 2 aren't really carrying into 3. 2 kind of like, yeah, we complained about 2's story, but it kind of like, wrapped everything up in a neat little bubble within its own game. Mm -hmm. Like, it's following more of the threads of Birth by Sleep and Dream Drop Distance than it is 2, which is weird. One thing that I don't really... Uh, you're about to see me, by the way, I'm gonna do some parkour. Uh, I'm screwing this up because I feel Whoa. like I can get away no with this. Nice flow motion, bro. Thank you! I did flow motion before flow motion yeah. was even a thing. <laughs> Tips Fedora. I, I didn't even know you could do this. I, if it makes you feel better, I didn't either. I found the, I figured this out on the spot, and then I screwed up because I realized I have trapped myself and I can't get back, so I have to jump. But um, 
So, one thing I don't really... Uh, about KH that has bothered me since BBS is I don't feel like KH knows what it wants to do right now, where we kind of... And then this is just how I've always thought this was going to happen. So when BBS came out, and then, you know, not much BBS, when they announced, like, 358 over two days recoded and BBS, I thought, you know, 3 has to come after that. But something that they have done with this series that really drives me nuts, so I thought 3 was going to come out after BBS because they set up, you know, all these characters are going through a lot of stuff, and there's this bad guy, Xehanort, going around, you know. So, like, obviously that's gonna lead to three. You get a told, pretty much, at the end of BBS Final Mix, you know, Sora's gonna go on this new adventure and go save them. So, like, okay, you know, that's fine. It's when you throw all of this other crap, like the foretellers and stuff, into it, it's too much for three alone to deal with, I think. If it would've just been, you know, we're gonna get Terra Aqua Vin back, that's fine, you know. But... With three, they're gonna bring up, like I said, all the t they have to rescue Terra Aqua Vin. They have to do the Keyblade stuff with Xehanort and fight him. The Master Master is just somehow gonna be involved. I'm Marluxia's just here. You he's gonna... <laughs> Marluxia's back. Yeah, Marluxia's um, here. Loxie's back. <laughs> That's the problem, I think, is they have set so much stuff up, and I don't know how they're gonna make all of that well, work. Well, you know, KH3 might be the epitome of, like, saying too many cook spoils, bro. You know, like, there's too much. They're putting all their eggs literally in one basket, and the basket's overflowing at this point. We've made this comparison so many times, but three kind of, uh, what I fear three is going to have, and I, I haven't seen Infinity War yet, so I'm not going to say anything, and here's my, I'm trying to attempt flow motion one more time, but um, I got really close, I really thought I could make it work, Damn. and then I fell. But, so, I feel like, what I fear is three is going to have a problem that I fear I'm going to have with Infinity War, where... This whole, like, Thanos thing started in 2012. <laughs> it's 2018, and we're just now getting the first part of it. I worry 3 is going to be one of those things like, okay, this hype... Well, let's, BBS came out, what, 2010? Yeah, 2010. 2010. Or tw 28. 2008. Yeah. Um, Whoa. 28. That's yeah. really old. <laughs> it is really old. But, um... Birth by Bible. There you go. But, um, I'm really worried that... Because we've had to wait so long for all these plot threads to get fixed, it's gonna be like this can never live up to the you know the hype. And the stupid listen, I'm about to go on a rant here because I really hate part of this. World. I love Hollow Bastion, but I hate this part of the world because you always fall off this stupid platform and you have to go the entire way back up, and it pisses me off. And that's why I threw the serial guy in there because why not? <laughs> Hello, most OP summon, along with Tinkerbell in this game. God, Mushu's broken. Do you think he is beta stitch, kind Pretty of? Much, or... yeah. Look, Tinkerbell's still the best summon in this game. But... Oh, easily. I'd say, um, I even like using Bambi quite a bit. Bambi's good as well, just because, um, you need Bambi for, I think it's grinding Mithril Stones, and, you know, free MP. It's always good. If you want to make the gauntlet a lot easier, like, we'll see this in the next two ep well, not ep the next episode, the episode after, I'm pretty sure. Um, the way to make the gauntlet a lot easier on you is, actually, I don't know if, no, we don't see the gauntlet until episode 39, now I think about it. Uh, but the way to make the gauntlet a lot easier on you is to have Bambi, like, in that last quarter of it, you need to summon Bambi and it makes it a lot easier. That's just a tip I've always recommended to people. We've got a lot of mega elixirs right now, like a lot. Like it kind of like I finished always, recording. Um, sorry, I was, I was um. Oh, you're good. I was just gonna you're say good. the one thing I, I always compliment KH on is like uh the summon animations. Like oh, they they've always been like really good, and like free seems to be continuing that trend. With the aerial one that you really love. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. I think what. I think my favorite is probably the Stitch one, where he just, like, attacks Sora, and they, like, roll across the ground and stuff. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I'm trying to think of the Chicken Little one. I think he just catches Chicken Little. That's really about it. And then Chicken Little throws baseballs at people. Chicken Little is a surprisingly really good summon. Chicken Little was broke in the early game. Cause he, he's, only, he's an early game magma, that's why he's so good. It's a shame that movie is really terrible. Come on, come on. 
Oh, his film is. His summons not. His summons broken. His well, no, summons no, no. really good. Yeah, his, his, the movie's bad. No, could you ever see them making a Chicken Little World? Well, this isn't Disney, but you know, um, you know Chicken Run. Have you heard of Chicken Run, the film? No. Wait. I don't know. I feel like I have. It's made by the Wallace and Gromit familiar. people. So it's that claymation. <gasps> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they announced a sequel. That film's 20 years old. They announced a sequel to that today. They're doing really? a sequel to a 20 year old animated film. It's like, sure, I guess. Like, that's a weird pool, Chicken Little. No, not Chicken Little, Chicken Run. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, Chicken Little 2. I gotta hope. It's, it's emo Chicken Little. Or teenager Chicken Little. I don't know, I would kinda like... If they made a Chicken Little 2 <laughs> today for some reason, I would. I actually probably would go see it, just cause... I don't know. Why not? Why not make, um, I know we can never get a My Hero Academia or on Kate. Well, technically, I know, think about it, we could, because you have, um, what is that stupid Disney movie called? Um, oh, God, I can I think it's called Sky High. Sky High, like yeah, 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 Disney, yeah. Disney, yeah, yeah my why hero. not? Make that a world. It, it is My Hero, it literally is the same thing, practically. It's scary how similar it really is. It probably has a better opening. <laughs> Well, well, opening three, well, four, yeah, I agree. I like opening three in my hero still, so. Two's the best one. Anyway, no more. Uh, uh, Song-wise, I disagree. Visual-wise, maybe, but. I don't know, like. It, let's, let me ask you this. So let's say, because there's a lot of live-action Disney movies. Could you see them, like, if, they, if you had to pick one live-action Disney movie to be in KH, what would it be? Haunted Mansion. Fucking Eddie Murphy <gasps> party. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind that. I actually like that movie, so. It's fucking scary for a kid's movie, man. Those zombies, like, are pretty fucking, like, they're pretty, like, detailed for, like, a kid's movie. <laughs> like, like, even when I was a kid, like, I was old enough not to be, like, I was like, oh, God, if I was only younger, I'd, I'd have nightmares. <laughs> But what if they did High School Musical? That'd be pretty funny. Oh, oh yes. Troy Bolton. Troy Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty amazing, I have to admit. Or, uh, what's a- uh, oh, what is that movie called? It's, um, uh, it's about the Chihuahua. I can't a think Beverly of what it's Hills called. Chihuahua? It, George Lopez in my Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I want George Lopez in Kingdom Hearts. That would actually be pretty perfect, I have to admit. And now we're gonna fight one of the easiest mini-bosses in KH. I have, one of my favorite things about KH1 is, like, you see this boss, and you're like, wow, he's massive, he's intimidating, and in the next one, he's just a regular enemy. Yeah. Like, he's so easy. Like, these guys are so easy. Oh, they're pathetically easy. I don't think I've ever died to one of these guys before. And uh, like that, this is a little bit of interesting trivia. So like, uh, I mean, you know this, but you know, why not? We'll bring it up. Uh, so like in Cage Two, yeah, yeah, no, you know, they have the showdown at Hollow Bastion. Originally, these guys were gonna be part of that. I think the reason why they didn't do it is because it made the game chug or something. I've heard that before, but they were in the original trailer for um for Cage Two. It, it was another heartless type as well. I think it was Invisibles as well. I wish they would have been in two, so you could get a cool reaction man where Sora like picks it up and throws it or something, or he does some kind of crazy stuff. I don't know. I forgot to mention uh, we have Oblivion now. Oblivion's really cool. We also are going to start using Ragnarok because Ragnarok is so good in this game. It's really good in BBS, surprisingly. It use Ragnarok once you get the chance. It's really good. In BBS, like if you want to make the final boss a lot easier, you should probably use Ragnarok. I'm just going to put it that way. Yeah. I, I I always use RS Arcane in my prefer it to Ragnarok. Uh, what, in this game? Or is yeah, it Wait, is RS Arcane in BBS? Yeah, RS Arcane is the one where, like, yeah, it's in this game. It's the one where you keep hitting them with your 
Oh no no no! Oh, you told me. I know what's in this game. Is it is it in BBS uh, too? There's a version of it in BBS. I think Terry gets a command, but I think it's called something like like Dark AKM or something. Like it's 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 the same art thing, but uh, it's uh it's the same as Art Icon, but it's got a different name. It's definitely in BBS though. Same with Sonic Blaze in BBS as well, but it's got a different name. I know Aqua has one uh, move in BBS, if I can think of what the actual name is. It's kind of like, it's some kind of ice move where she just keep, like goes crazy. It's like Sonic Blade. Um, I can't think of what it's called, but it does make the final, like, ball, the final, final boss of BBS a lot One easier. of the worst things about BBS is, like, um, I, I'm glad Free's fixing this, is where um, you can't choose if you want to go into the command finisher or not in BBS. It makes you do it. Sora, and like, commands like, do you remember Ghost Drive from BBS for when you get near the end of that course, she keeps teleporting around? That's one of, oh, like, yeah. it's a cool looking command, but enemies can like hit you out of that. And like, I got killed a lot of the time because I'd go into Ghost Drive when I didn't want to. And that could just be teleporting around like an idiot. And I'd just get like knocked out of it and die. It also doesn't help that BBS bosses don't flinch. And that's really yeah. annoying. <laughs> yeah. So. It's not like, it's not, they sometimes stagger, they stagger if like use commands like mines, it's kind of like, they have no kind of like, they don't have any kind of like revenge value, or I hate using that term, because a lot of people don't know what it means, but you know, they don't have any, their tells don't match yours, so you hit them, and you think, oh, they should stagger now, because like, you're, you're kind of reading them, but then they'll just like randomly, like Ericus and Vanitas, Neverlander, so it's a lot where he'll just randomly dive into the ground, like mid-combo, it's like, that wasn't fair. <laughs> I know I kind of went on this rant with the Terra stuff in the last episode, but like, I really don't like the Ericus fight in BBS. Like, the music's nice, and I like the setting, but uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. You know what I really have never liked about Leon's design in Cage 1? Why he has a belt wrapped around his arm. I never got that. Isn't that what junkies do? What, what? I think junkies? that's what junkies do. Like, <laughs> they wrap belts around their arm? I think, yeah, because um, sometimes, like, um, we'll it's so they can find a vein, isn't it? So you wrap a belt no around your arm, oh, or some kind yeah. of rope around your arm, so um, your arm will pop out so you can find a vein. Besides, that's what junkies do. <laughs> I don't, don't ask well, me that's why what they I do. Like, that. I mean, if you go to, like, give <laughs> blood or something, they'll do the same thing. I've never thought about that before. I like how you went straight to, like, giving blood, and I went straight to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. It's kind of a shame that we never see this area again. Well, I mean, we see it again in later games, but like we never actually come back here later in the future. There you go. So, what even is this? Like, I don't even remember what this like keyhole like, even is. Is it just like a pathway from the dark world? Yeah, so... Know. So basically, this was going to be the one to summon Kingdom Hearts, right? But it wasn't complete because of Kairi, because she was inside Sora. So they managed to seal it before, like, Ansem reached Kingdom Hearts, but then, like... Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs>